songs and felicitations. Okay, the first round. Boom. <laughs> and oh, geez, that was just boom. unnecessary. You kidding me? You can't be out of range. Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. Jarl of the Appian Way here. That was a Cyclops. And I'm really looking forward to this replay. This is submitted by Air Runner. And he's playing as Ithaca. I don't often see him play as Ithaca, but he has not disappointed me. He has brought both a Cyclops and Sirens. Again, he also has not disappointed me. His opponent has brought Paris. And I've been wanting to get more Paris replays. Oh, that was the wrong button. Let me go ahead and show you this Parisian army here, if I will. This Trojan Paris army, I should say. It is six heavy Trojan spearmen, two Trojan princes, two Trojan nobles in Paris. Okay, well that is about the as boring as you can get, but hey, when you have a straightforward, simple idea, sometimes that can work out for you, especially when you're playing against the guy who does not ever bring straightforward nor simple ideas. He's brought... Oh my god, look at this. This is five spear runners, four warriors of Ithaca, two ambushers, a siren, a cyclops, and a fighter ravager hero. Let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off. This is I I like this map. It has a soft spot in my heart, but as you can tell, it is cluttered. It is full. You cannot bring chariots here. This is a great map for Ithaca. Both armies have no idea where the other is. Actually, these heavy Trojan spearmen, they are now visible to, um, to Ithaca's army, so he knows that there's forces down here. But he's opting... To go the long way around, I think. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, he Ithaca had the choice of putting this battle either down here in, in the mud or coming down this way and fighting the open terrain. But it actually looks like Paris is wanting to draw a battle in the mud as well. Well, Paris is... No, he's coming back. I'll be interested to, decide, to see where they decide to fight. Interesting. Okay, now... Eventually, Ithaca is going to have to give away his position. Paris has to be wondering where they are. Okay, he can see one of the spear runners now. So at least he knows there's a force right there. And he can, yeah, he can see the Cyclops and the hero now. I think Paris is going to try and get into range where he can shoot at something. Um, but the angle is going to be blocked by the ridge line. Let me just hold down the space bar so you can see his range of fire. He is at range. Of being able to try to attempt shots at the Cyclops and at the uh, at the hero, but I bet you those shots are going to be wasted on the on the hillside. Let's see what Paris does here. Speed things up. I'm just curious to see if he's going to try shooting anything. The hero really getting close, but uh, oh man, this is going to be great if the princes and nobles are content to stay on fire at will and keep shooting at the fighter ravager. Air Runner will just waste all of their ammo. He will absolutely do exactly that. And I think, yep, here it is. Welcome to the Warhammer Dance. No problem. Your hero is under attack. That was the first arrow he caught for it. And he's going to do it with the Cyclops as well by the looks of things. It's really, actually, you have to admit, it is really epic watching all the arrows launch simultaneously from the princes and the nobles. Let's see if we can't get another launch off here. Paris is running around back and forth himself. Actually... The princes and nobles might have thought better of it. Oh, Boulder! Oh, right into right into the Trojan princes. Okay, so I see what he did. I don't think this player knew how to turn off fire at will, so what he did is he had the uh, princes and nobles turn their back. And because of the embarrassment that that provided to uh, the Cyclops, he decided to give a Boulder to him. Paris is going to go ahead and take some shots, but as you can see, it's back to the Warhammer dance. The hero and the Cyclops are going to continue to just dance back and forth here. Trying to present too tempting of a target for Paris and the nobles and the princes to ignore. This is 100% the right thing to do. And this actually just frees up the Cyclops to... Oh, just yeet one right at Paris. Right in the face. <laughs> So who's winning this skirmishing engagement? Is it Ithaca or is it Paris? Because I'll tell you what, I don't think it's Paris. Paris keeps missing the Cyclops. Now, meanwhile, as Air Runner is doing all of this, 
he's positioning his warriors of Ithaca. These guys having Vanguard, I'm sorry, having stock means that they won't be seen until they are right in point blank range. And the okay, so the nobles and princes have had enough. They're going to turn around and t start shooting again. But that just means it's easy for these guys to dodge and watch the arrows all launch up and just continue to miss. Actually, it looks like the spearmen are also going to start activating and move on up here as well. And I think the the every time I go into I go into um, turning off the HUD is when the uh, the princes and nobles stop shooting just to embarrass me. Oh, come on, guys. How about another volley? See, that's just... It's pointless to shoot at these targets. It really is. But there it is. Yeah, it, it is so epic watching them all go up like that. Man, Paris was at point blank range there. That might have been worth it. Oh, and it is worth it for the spear runners who have unleashed their javelins at Paris. And Siren's Lure got activated. And now Paris is completely pulled out of position and having to attack into the dream line. Meanwhile, Ithaca's troops are going to be protected back here. But here comes the warriors of Ithaca. Two heavy Trojan spearmen see it coming. They turn around at the last possible second. That was a very good, um, very good reaction from the Paris player here to try and protect his Trojan princes and assault and uh, intercept this with heavy Trojan spearmen. If he just goes ahead and he turns off their shields, they'll be dealing more than 160 damage to the warriors of Ithaca in combat. Warriors of Ithaca, though, they're going to go ahead and do what they can to outposition this. We see some spear runners getting downhill and into position here. And man, this Paris hero, he is done. Double teamed by the Cyclops and by the Fighter Ravager. And he is going to die here any second. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, he's shattered. And there he goes. Knocked over by the Cyclops. And I think the Paris player is about to rage quit. I think he's had enough of this. Man, that was quick. That was quick and brutal. Yikes. I didn't see it ending like that. Oh, man. So here's your statistics for you. The uh, Trojan Princes and Nobles are the only units to make any kills, and they made it only in the last few stages of that battle. The Cyclops with seven kills of his own from those humiliating boulders that he threw at, at Paris. Man, not much to talk about, really. Not much to talk about at all. Ta-ta, I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.